Right, it's another <coughs> very quick little little bit of video. Got the um, everything's in its final sort of mock up. Got the gearbox mount in there. All the transfer cases all mounted up. All the major bits. Got the sides sort of tacked on. Blah. And um, yeah, it's sort of really getting somewhere with it now. Most of the major bits are done. Most of the insides welded. Got the engine mounts in there as well. Made out 20 mil thick <coughs> alley. Both sides. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna pull the engine out now. Give it a final weld up in the inside. And the front's going to get welded on. So yeah, really, uh, I'm really trying to throw it together. See if this damn stupid idea works. <coughs> see the <coughs> engine mounts and all the sort of sump stuff. Bits around the steering box. It's all very silly. Right, here's where we're at. This stupid project. The front's all on there now. All the bumpers welded up. All the front bulkhead bits all on there. Got the sides on there, can't remember what's on the other video, but yeah, I've been gradually trying to carry on with it. All the insides sort of uh, more or less done. Got all the um, Stern gland part and the where the um, crotch shaft all runs through this all well then not very happy with any of the welding. I am not a welder and I am especially not an aluminium welder. But hey ho, if I build another one, I'll get a professional welding monkey to do it. This is most definitely very much prototype. Um, yeah, well, we'll see if it works, but I'm at the point now where I've got the engine hoisting it, as you can see, hooked up. And I literally lift it off the jig now, drag it off to one side, and you lay it down, turn it upside down, and then I've got all the bottom to weld. All the inside now is all fully welded. Um, but yeah, so turn it upside down, weld the bottom. And then, uh, and then see, see if it leaks. I was originally going to put it back on the jig and fill it up with water and, or a, an amount of water to where I think the water line will be. With like 600 litres of water in here. And just mark all the leaks and then go around it with a TIG welder and go over them. Um, but um, now a friend of mine has been sort of guiding me a little bit with this project sort of says you can get some uh, marker dye that shows up if the welds are porous so um, you spray one part on the inside and one part on the outside and if the two react they come up with a colour so you can see if it leaks so we may do that I don't know I'd still like to know where the water line is before it goes in the water but um, I don't know we'll see it's all a big big silly project very 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 stupid project what the hell am i thinking god only knows i think that every every time i work on it i think i've really lost the plot this time but there you have it so yeah i say it's going to come off now turned upside down and um yeah probably another couple of days welding And then we're at the point to see if it leaks. 
It's not too far behind schedule. Got to get another cylinder of gas because I'm going through quite a lot of gas cylinders, as you can imagine. Yeah, keep watching. Yeah. Just with your hand. Right, so put it on its side. Now it's lots more welding. I'm gonna put it on each side and on its upside completely upside down then I can get nicely to weld all of these bits. Nice. Hopefully get some half decent welds in. All of these bits. It's <coughs> a whole bloody lot of welding. Sort of uh, the gravity of this project is just absolutely goddamn ridiculous. Really? It's for one stupid moron to undertake on their own, that's for sure. Yeah, we will see. See if this damn stupid thing works. <laughs> 